artists. Today we are going to learn about Vincent Van Gogh's famous almond blossom painting and then we are going to learn how to create our own blossom painting. Vincent Van Gogh was a Dutch post-impressionist painter. Dutch means that he was from the Netherlands and post-impressionist means that he used vivid colors, a thick application of paint, and real-life subject matter. Vincent Van Gogh was heavily influenced by Japanese art. Japanese art comes from Japan. Vincent Van Gogh was especially influenced by Japanese artist Hiroshige. Hiroshige was a well-known woodcut artist of the famous Japanese art tradition, Yukioi. Hiroshige and Japanese culture are especially fond of fruit blossoms, especially cherry blossoms. Cherry blossoms are very significant in Japanese culture. They are said to represent clouds, which are a metaphor for the brevity of life. Vincent Van Gogh didn't live in Japan. He lived in southern France, which he called the Japan of the South. From 1888 to 1890, Van Gogh painted his Blossom series. In 1890, he painted the painting that we will be studying today, called Almond Blossoms. He painted almond blossoms as a gift to his nephew. The painting represents awakening and hope. There is no doubt that Vincent Van Gogh's Almond Blossom painting was influenced by his love for Japan and their artwork. Today, we are going to create our own cherry blossom painting inspired by Vincent Van Gogh and Japanese culture. Today, we will use a blue sheet of paper, a brown or black permanent marker, the end of a paintbrush, napkins, green, blue, red, and white paint, and a little bit of black paint in a cup. First, take your permanent brown or black marker and write your name. Then begin drawing the branches of the cherry blossom tree. You will draw two lines and then you will draw lines or branches going off of your two main lines. Don't worry, this does not have to be exact or perfect. It does not have to look like mine as long as you have two branches. Take your finger and dip it in the white paint. You can also add, use the red and blue paint as well and make three dots grouped together along the branches. We are creating the cherry blossoms by using paint in our fingers. You can use white, blue, red to do this process. Remember when we mix white and red that we get pink. When we mix white and blue, we get a light blue. And if we mix red, blue, and white, we will get a light purple. Continue making cherry blossom groupings along the branches. You can also make a few random single cherry blossom petals along the branches as well. Once you are done, wipe your hands and now we will take the green, blue, and a little bit of white and we will make fingerprints that will look like leaves along the cherry blossom. Remember, make them in groupings, but you can also make some random single leaves wherever you would like. Now that you're done, you are going to take your paintbrush but instead of using the bristles, you're going to use the back side of your paintbrush and you are going to do little tiny dots inside of your cherry blossoms. Your own blossom. 
blossom painting inspired by Vincent Van Gogh and Japanese culture. Now it's your time to create your own blossom painting. Good luck!